part two, holiday drinks with Brett Butler, a pinch of a Grinch. Grinch. All right. This, yep. this is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's, it's going to be green. It's good. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, good. yeah that's okay. the idea. That's We're the doing a green drink. Yeah. Not so much, Grinch. but I want a Grinch drink to be green. Right. 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 I, real quick, so I did not create this drink, and I have to give credit where credit is due. There's a guy by the name of Matthew Biancanello. Okay. He's in L.A. He's a cocktail chef called Eat Your Drink. He created this drink. It's called the Roquette, which means arugula in French. Oh. And uh, he's one of the most amazing individuals, mixologists you've ever met. Spent some time with him out in L.A. So uh, kudos to him for creating this amazing, incredible drink, which is based around wild arugula. So cool. you, it's a simple drink to make, like four ingredients, three ingredients. I'm going to add a little bit of a riff on it. We're going to take some wild arugula, and we're just going to throw all this in our mixing tin. You get a ton of it. I'm mean, talking like a cup, maybe a cup and a half, and we are really going to muddle the heck out of this, right? So you get all this wild arugula. We're going to do a little bit of agave. We got about three-quarters of an ounce of agave. Throw that in there. Can I scrape that goodness in there? So you're going to add some sweetness, right? So all about our cocktails and alchemy, sweetness, as well as the citrus and the sour to kind of balance it. Mm-hmm. So you got some lime. Some nice fresh lime juice in here. And you were talking about like arugula. Not yeah, a lot of people, some people don't like it, but I, I like it in I a salad. It. And the bitterness, I think, is what some people are turned off by. But I actually, I like that with, yeah. a, with a vinaigrette or a little something. Like it. Thing, yeah, okay. so. A little bit of ginger yeah. juice. You can find these little shots at like Aldi or Trader Joe's or wherever. I uh, love ginger, very healthy, mm-hmm. packed with antioxidants, stuff like that. So a little bit of ginger, get a little kick on your throat. Mm-hmm. So to your point, what I am all about is just taking ingredients that wouldn't normally go in cocktails, mm-hmm. which is kind of the essence of alchemy, and just trying to work them you know, into a, a balanced drink. It's all farm to glass stuff, so it's fresh. You taste the freshness, you smell it. So what we're going to do is just really, really muddle this arugula. And, and Brett, while you do this, one of the things that occurs to me, where can I get all of these yeah. alchemy ingredients? Uh-huh. Great point. So I do a lot of uh, infusions, and we're at the markets right now. We're doing the uh, winter markets, Carmel, Indy, and... Uh, Broad Ripple, oh, Farmer's okay. Market. So you can come out, not just me, but visit all the vendors. Yeah. Markets are an incredible communal local experience, vendors. shop local, all that great stuff. That's where we're going to be at all winter, and then we'll uh-huh. start the summer in like Carmel Fishers and other places. So we sell stuff like the Holly Berry Mix and a lot of other flavors. You're going to want those mixes, folks, I'm telling you. <laughs> Grey Whale Gin, uh, love this, amazing, lots of botanicals. They donate a portion of their sales. Uh, to um, environmental causes and things oh, like yeah. that. So I'm always getting behind stuff like that. Yeah. So we got our gin, ginger, agave, arugula, lime, pretty simple. I'm telling you guys, this is a very unique. You've never had anything like this before. So it's um, really, really yummy. And hopefully, you guys want to oh, yeah. Give them finish it up. Yeah. There you go. All right, <laughs> we're good. Boom, done. And. You're going to see this nice, beautiful green hue. We're going to double strain it so we get it kind of a cleaner, lighter cocktail. I mean, that's not Christmas. I don't know what it is, right? Yeah. yeah. It's just really, really pretty. I'm going to take that. Now, for garnish, we're just going to add a little bit of arugula right on top there. And I, this is kind of sacrilege, but i got to do it because it's Christmas. So we got to add a little red. So I'm going to add some maraschino cherries. Not a huge fan. Apologies to the maraschinos. But, <laughs> but, it's, it's, but you know, it's Christmas. It's yeah, it's yeah. just a garnish. Yeah. It's just a garnish. You're going to get all the really yummy flavor. Put some on the top. Just draw in here for you guys. And this is a pinch of Grinch. Originally created by my good friend Matthew Biancanello. Thank you very much. Merry right. Christmas, guys. Oh, thank you. I get a, I get a sample on both today. First, first, yeah. first, yep. Okay. All right. That's nice, <laughs> right? No, that's really nice. I love the George reaction every time. Here um, we go. You ever thought arugula uh, in a glass? Yeah. Oh, that is. Yeah, nice. I mean, <laughs> yeah, the. Um, but you're right. It's like something I've never yeah. really had. Before. You've never that's had something well. like that before. So I started doing that at events, and people went crazy for it because it's just different, and unique, and uh, healthy. 